What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about things that should be included in GTA 6. Let's get right into this. So I do have a pretty decent sized list here of things that I would love to see returned to GTA 6 and to be returned to the GTA franchise as a whole. And I think a lot of people will agree with most of these things that are on my list. The first thing is going to be the jetpack. I absolutely loved on GTA San Andreas being able to use the jetpack. There was a cheat code for it. Or if you didn't use cheat codes and you wanted to go through the game and beat the game as you were intended and how it was supposed to be played, then you could go and steal it from Area 51 as well. This would be a great thing to include, just not only a nostalgic feeling, but it hasn't been in a GTA game in a really long time, and it definitely should be. The next thing is going to be have a multi-city map where certain areas are going to be locked off and like in the old games if you do access them you immediately get a five or six star wanted level. I think that would be awesome now myself included. I absolutely loved GTA 5 of how huge the map was and it was one big map, but I think it would be very iconic to go back to how they used to do things. It would be very frustrating for some people playing the story mode if it's like that, but eventually you do unlock all the territories, so I think it would be awesome to go back to this kind of method. Next would be to have more character customization options. In GTA San Andreas, if you did eat too much collecting bell, you would get bigger and gain a lot of weight. If you did go to the gym and work out, you would gain a lot of muscle and be a lot stronger. That would be awesome to go back to the way things were back for San Andreas, where you could go and change the physique of your characters, whether that's just the story mode characters or also having that option online. I think a lot of people would love that. The only thing they had in GTA 5 was if you walked, ran, or rode a bike, you would gain stamina, but your physical appearance would remain the same. The next thing I would love to see in GTA 6 would be to have more hobbies and pastimes. I would love to see the return of bowling, which was last included in GTA 4. I think that would be awesome to have more things like this, more small mini games in a sense, where you could go and have fun and make it more like an open world, where you could do anything in the game and that would have a really great feel if it did. The next thing I would bring back would definitely be the katana. It was not in GTA 5, but it was in previous Grand Theft Auto games. I think it would be awesome awesome to have the katana once again. I think it might be really easy to just slice through opponents and that might be why it wasn't included in GTA 5, but I think it's one of the most recognized and memorable weapons that I think they definitely should bring it back. Maybe lessen the damage rates that you could do, but I think it would be awesome to have it included in GTA 6. Next would be to have an option to be able to play as a cop. I think whether that is in story mode or online, I think people would absolutely love that idea where you can decide whether you want to do and be a good cop or you want to be a crooked cop. I think that would be awesome to not only have the option to play as a cop, but also have the option to choose whether or not you're going to be a good or a bad cop. I think people would absolutely love that. And it also would have a true crime sense, which is one of my favorite games from back on the PlayStation 2, and I think that would be awesome to see in Grand Theft Auto. The next thing I would love to see in GTA 6 would be the return of past characters from previous GTA games, whether that is just in story mode or you also can see them in online matches as well. I think that would be awesome to have. How crazy would it be to have CJ reappear, whether it's just a cameo or a lengthy part in story mode for GTA 6? I think people would absolutely love that and you'd kind of be expecting kind of a backstory of what happened after San Andreas with the CGA character and then having some relief of what did happen after that game. Next would be simply to have updated vehicles. GTA 5 was from 10 years ago and definitely vehicles as a whole has changed. So having some of them from GTA 5 makes sense, but also others having them updated to the current models or the current versions of those vehicles would definitely be expected. And the last thing is if they do have heists in GTA 6, which is one of my favorite parts of the story 
mode for GTA 5, but if they do have heists in GTA 6, make it where we are more in control of the whole thing. From the setup to the execution, I want us to be in full control of doing the heist, kind of like Payday in a sense, but where it's like GTA level. I think that would be awesome. Whether or not they do that for story mode, because story mode you're basically following a story, so if there's any heists in story mode, it makes sense for them to flow a certain way, but for online, for any of the heists online, I think it'd be awesome with your friends to have a complete option of how you want to set up everything and how you want to execute with getaway vehicles and if you want to go in quiet or you want to go in guns a blazing, I think that'd be awesome to give people the option to do it how they want. Comment down below what you would love to see in GTA 6 and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.